something. Ah, yeah. No, we've still got storm going on. That's that's great. It's not easy being a woman in Sky. No. Okay. Let's see if that guy is still in the temple. I ain't done nothing. Tidings. There we go. All right. Let's see, is he in here? I think that's him, right? God's bless you, healer. Need something? Yeah, you're the guy who wondered if I was he heading toward Elder Gleam, right? Shall we proceed, friend? Yeah. All right, come on. Thank you for your kindness. My body burns. Do you hear that? There's like... I uh, forget I said anything. The pain is so great. Alright. Kinnereth? Taking this guy with me. So sick. Can hardly stand it. Alright. I, uh... Hope you don't mind... The rain. Do you have the Elder Gleam set? Not yet, but I'm about to go... See if I can... May Kinnareth's winds blow you to fortune. Yeah, that. I would very much like it if Kinnareth's winds could blow away the storm just while we're traveling. Although the farms probably need the rain, so I guess that's okay. I really hope you can keep up, and I'm sorry if I am a little fast. Oh, oh man. Good morning. Yep. Something like that. You there. Oh great. We're looking for someone in white room. We'll pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? What do you mean? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Red god like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. So we will be in Rorest and learn it. Right. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Alright. Anything you can tell me about who you're looking for, or is that it? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Red Guard woman. She may be somewhere in the city. Alright. We will find her eventually. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Uh, Maurice? What are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna let them. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Uh, yeah, give me a minute. Maurice, don't... It, uh, just stay out of the rain a little bit. I don't have enough to make... It's fine. I was gonna try to make you a cloak. Do you have a cloak or anything that you can wear? Oh, great. Oh, never mind. It looks like the storm's gonna clear up a little bit. Okay. I'm alright with taking my hood off right at the moment. Oh wow. Oh look at that. <laughs> alright. Rainbow. I will take that as a good sign then. Well, 
It's gone now. Not enough, not enough rain in the air, I guess. I have no idea where those alakir went. But, I don't think I'm considered a fugitive, so I'm going to assume that they're not looking for me. That's good. You keeping up alright, uh, Maurice? That was your name. Just gotta make sure you're, you're not- I'm not gonna lose you or something. The roads are kind of dangerous. So if anything happens, just stay back and let me do the uh, heavy hitting, I guess. I don't think I want to know what that guard was doing just now. Just kind of standing. I guess a Enjoying the sun, probably. Oh. A patrol. Morning. And Skeever. Skeever? Wolf. Skeever. <sighs> when the rats are so big you think that- no, that's a wolf. What are you doing? Maurice, you're not gonna fist fight a wolf. Just stay... Just stay clear of him. Yeah, no, there's two of us. There's two of us. There's one of you. Okay. That went well. Uh, what's this? Oh! A, a hunter or something. Wow. Hey, are you okay? Did you, uh... If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. A good death? What do you mean? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Why do you wish to die? That seems... My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. You're talking about the Sabercats, right? You don't look that old to me. Certainly you're still a strong, capable warrior if you can take down creatures like this. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? I... I mean... There's not really a point in trying to talk you out of this, is there? You should leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. Hmm. Uh, Maurice? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Yeah, could you just... If you are not here to grant Stand me back? a good death, then you can leave. Alright, you know what? Perhaps I can give you the death you seek. I... I'm something of a fighter, so... Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Are you? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. We shall see. Maurice? Yeah, yeah, you just stand back, Maurice. Okay. We're gonna do this honorably. Honor is something I understand, so... No one bests an orc! That's it! I call you God! 
there. Teach you to mess with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're something else. Rest easy, friend. And um Maurice, Ma do you mind? I'm I'm trying to Could you please get out of the way? I'm serious. <sighs> Come on. Ah. You're one heavy orc. Ah, strong fighter. Oops. Come on. Urgh. You are heavy. Maurice, could you move? Maurice. There we go. Ah. <sighs> there. Now you'll have a tree to mark where you fell. Malakath, I don't know who you are or if you can hear me, but this old man died well fighting somebody who respects honor. Um, see to it that he gets where he needs to be. Rest easy, old orc. Yeah, uh, that's what I mean when I say if things get weird, just... Don't worry about it. Wolves. I'm just gonna steer around those wolves. Maurice, what are you doing? I'm not sure if that was... Uh, wolves. I'm not sure if that was a good enough death for Malakath, but... I don't know Malakath, so... There's a big fire up on that hill. I'm gonna assume giants. I'm gonna assume giants are up there. It's going to be a long road. That's all right. Maurice? Okay. Let's go. Oh, after you. Maurice? Okay. You know, I'm glad that you're keeping up. And that the wolves seem to be leaving him alone. That's good. Probably because they see me with him and, uh... Don't want to try this armor out. Biting through it, I mean. I don't know. <laughs> Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Oh, great. That's an imperial thing, isn't it? Look, I'm a little low, but... Uh... How does 50 sound? I'll pay the rest when I come back through. Eh, fine. I can tell you aren't worth the trouble. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Alright. You know, you should really get some better armor than that. People will think you're a bandit if you don't.
Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's an Imperial thing. We're probably heading into Stormcloak territory. And they probably don't want people doing that without their knowing about it. That would be my guess. You know anything about that, Maurice? The, the whole... Imperial storm cloak thing. Oh well. All I know is that they're fighting and that it's stupid. I don't really know what they're fighting for. I can guess the Imperials are probably fighting just to keep Skyrim under some kind of protection, but. I don't know about the Stormcloaks. Okay. This might be a good place to fill up water skins, get something to eat. Uh... Or it might not. Give me a second. Yeah, no. This, uh... Not- not good for drinking, I don't think. It looks kind of... Yeah. I still have a fresh one, so that's good. Um... I kind of feel like- Oh, there's a person over there. There's a dead body. Uh, let's see if we can cross this stream. I hope you don't mind, Maurice, but I feel like I need to check this out. Just to see what is in there. I might be able to take care of it so that it doesn't... ...result in uh, more people decorating a mammoth carcass. What are you doing? Alright, 